if all I think of myself is in terms of my physicality, the fact that I have eyes, I have hands, I have a stomach, I have other, th other sort of physical components, the result is, is that what I will do is pursue a happiness that's only in conformity with my physical body. And what if I am more than that? Now, I'm sure you and I both know this deeply and profoundly, that we are much more than just a physical body. I am something more than that. I have an intellect, I have emotions, but I also have a spirit, I have a soul. And what happens when we pursue a happiness that's focused only on our physical self? Are we not ignoring what really, truly makes us human? What if there's a happiness that comes with the intellect, with our emotions, with our soul that I am not even aware of? And perhaps if we recognize what Revelation is saying, we'll begin to understand why perhaps we ourselves have a sadness have a loneliness, have a distance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you want to attain happiness that is the strongest in intensity, the longest in duration, and the sweetness in quality, then this is the path you must pursue. You must know who you are, and then you must seek it in a way that is in conformity with the intellect and with revelation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.